What does today's gospel tell us about the character of Herod? What was the reason for killing John the Baptist? What lessons can we learn from today's gospel passage? All these questions and more answered during today's episode of Daily Reflections. Today's gospel describes the way in which John the Baptist was the victim of corruption and arrogance of the government of Herod. He was killed without due process during a banquet of the king with the powerful of the kingdom. The text gives us much information on the time in which Jesus lived and on the manner in which power was used by the powerful of that time. Which brings us to the first point, the character of Herod. The text begins by telling about the opinion which Herod had of Jesus. Herod tries to understand Jesus, starting from the fear which assailed him after murdering John. Herod was very superstitious and hid his fear behind the oscillation of his riches and his power. Galilee was governed by Herod Antipas, the son of King Herod the Great, for 43 years. Herod was the absolute lord of everything. He did not render an account to anyone. He did whatever passed through his mind. Arrogance, lack of ethics, absolute power, without control from the people. Herod, so as not to be dismissed, tried to please Rome in everything. Above all, he insisted on an efficient administration which would bring riches to the empire. His concern was his own promotion and his own security. For this reason, he repressed any type of subversion. Flavius Joseph, a Jewish writer of that time, says that the true reason for the imprisonment of John the Baptist was Herod's fear that there would be a popular revolt. Herod liked to be called the benefactor of the people, but in reality, he was a tyrant. Which brings us to the second point, the plot of the murderer. At the feast, there were the great of the court, the officials, the important people of Galilee, and so on. This is the environment in which the murder of John the Baptist is planned. John the Baptist was living denunciation of that corrupt system. This is why he was eliminated as a personal revenge. All this reveals the moral weakness of Herod. So much power accumulated in the hands of one man, unable to control himself. In the enthusiasm of the feast and from the wine, Herod makes a promise by oath to the young dancer, the daughter of Herodias. Superstitious as he was, he thought that he had to respect this oath and respond to the request of the girl. And because of this, he ordered the soldier to bring the head of John the Baptist on a tray and give it to the dancer. For Herod, the life of his subjects was worthless. Which brings us to the third point. Be true to yourself. There is a lot that we can learn from the characters of John and the character of Herod. John the Baptist stood up for the truth. Even though he knew that it could be dangerous to be straightforward and challenge the morality of Herod, he did it. He was not afraid of the consequences as he knew that he was doing the right thing. Herod, on the other hand, comes across as a person who was trying to please the authorities in Rome just to remain in power. As a result of this, he wanted to make sure that no one challenges him. In order to keep his position safe, he eliminated all those he viewed as a threat. Today's Gospel passage provides us the opportunity to reflect and see whether we want to seek the truth or just protect our positions. Here are certain points for our personal reflection. What is your reaction towards those who are the victims of authoritarianism and abuse of power? Are we ready to follow the example of John the Baptist and stand for the truth? Are we willing to follow the gospel values in order to make this world a better place for all humanity? These points can be of great help to reflect on today's gospel. And if you like our reflection, do share the good news of our Lord. Have a good day. And may God bless you all. Amen.